I am the best dancer in the world. The world just doesn't know it yet. Hey guys, it's just Hola, and I'm going to be an internet sensation. The world just doesn't know it yet. So, when it comes to dancing, I've got to say, I'm, I'm not the best. But at least I'm not going around saying I'm a professional dancer. I'm like... Sarah always planned on going to Harvard to receive a law degree. Then suddenly, she got this idea that she wanted to become a hip-hop dancer and possibly leave school. I'm majoring in psychology, but you know what? A psychology lecture has never helped me improve my fuerte turns. It has never improved my leaps. It has never made my hip-hop dancing more hipper. It has never made my hip hop dancing more hipper. Like who says that? No one, no one says that. Sarah has a $500,000 scholarship. It covers tuition, food, housing for undergrad and grad school. I won every award, every honor, national titles. Took the SAT in the seventh grade. Honor roll all throughout high school. Full ride scholarship to college. And I was just like, wait, I don't have to do this. I can do whatever I want and I want to be a dancer. Like she literally had everything and and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, I want to be a dancer. Like if you want to do something, you, you have to go for it. But when you when you have um, all, all the opportunities, why not? She's all, got all these opportunities and she's not taking it. She's just leaving it and, and then thinking that she is the best at something she's probably just learned off YouTube. And like her moves aren't even that good. Like look at it. Look at this. A hundred percent self-made, self-taught, natural talent. I am every single type of dance. I even do tap. And like Irish, African, Arabian, hip hop, ballet, and then my own little freestyle, you know what I'm saying? I do it all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you're at the level of- I'm a little freestyle, you know what I'm saying? At the level that I'm at of greatness, of prodiginess, of goddessness, the success and the money will come. It's inevitable. You know, I relate to her on like a very deep level. Like, I, I feel the same at her. When you're on like a level of prodiginess, of like goddessness, of like holiness, like people just like just can't get enough of you. How do, how do you know that you're a great dancer? It oozes out of me. It oozes out of me. I'm watching you you here and... I'm uh, much better than I that can, though. That's well, just I like can't. a little bit... That just scrapes the surface, surface of my greatness. Well, I... I couldn't do that on my best day, so I'm not going <laughs> to... I could do I'm that gonna, heels with my eyes closed. I'm not going to critique it, because I... I mean, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, come on, Phil. Don't be so hard on yourself. You could... I bet you could do that on your good day. I know you could host your own dance show if you wanted to. You could be the next Jojo Siwa! I couldn't do that on my best day. What did I tell you, Phil? Don't be so hard on yourself! A higher form of insanity. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, she has a full ride scholarship right. in college and she wants to become some hip hop dancer. Okay, and you say some hip hop dancer like you smelled something really bad in the room <laughs> when you said that. Well, I mean, a hip hop dancer, what kind of career is that? So when the dad talks, he is pretty savage when he says some hip hop dancer and also um, Dr. Phil, of course. But I would be like pretty angry too if my daughter would just like threw anything away to do this random thing and thought that she was the she could do the best without any any training of all like sorts. Also, if the audio sounds different, it's because I'm hiding in my closet trying to get better audio. So let me just come out. Okay, so next they decided to get this guy who was the choreographer for Lady Gaga to teach um, this girl the uh, uh, choreography and see how far she could get and see that if she would actually pass getting a cut to be in some choreography for a celebrity. And um, let's just see how that went. How long had you been dancing? Since I was three. 
since, since you were three. Since I was three, I was dancing, I was learning choreography, I was already choreographing. It was what I loved to do, it was my passion. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't just start one day, you've been doing it all your life. So how did Sarah Joy do? So initially when I first started to teach her the steps, I taught her as fast as it would be at an audition, and she couldn't get it as first. Ever since this guy was out the womb, he had been dancing, and this woman comes on like, uh, 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 here's the thesis. I'm gonna be a dancer because I'm a goddess. Oh my god. So then this choreographer teaches the woman how to do the choreography, and she just apparently just kept complaining and complaining about, oh, I, I just need some more time. It's because of my heels, I can't do the turns right. And I was like, you'd have been cut already. She wanted to show me what she would do, and I'm like, yeah, but as a dancer, you need to go in there, learn the choreography, and then deliver it back immediately. And if you can't, you'll be cut. So she would have been cut? Yes. A hundred percent. She was complaining early on. Yes. And complaining, we were on carpet, you know, she can't turn her heels. So then she comes on stage and she does the choreography. And as you can see, she actually does it well. Like, this is way better than what I could ever do. And like, to be honest, that's pretty amazing. Like, you've got to give that to her. But you can tell that she is kind of not on point as um, the choreographer, the guy next to her. I've got, I don't know, I don't know their names. Here we go. Let's try it. And five from the top. Six and five, six, seven, eight. Give me one and two and three, four. Hit, hit, up, down, slash, hot, kahan. Get, get, on. Uh, again, five, six, seven, eight. Give me one. Get, 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 get. Hit, cooch, cap, up, down, slash, switch around. Hit, hit. And, um, and then later on, she continues by saying this. I had a wonderful time working with Richie. I don't think I fought back at all. I think that I expressed. <laughs> I expressed how I would add my own style to it. I expressed how I would add my own flavor to it. Yes, but no. as you can see, I delivered exactly what he gave me, and I did it with full energy, and I think that he would love to work with me again. No. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She says that she wasn't complaining, but she was just adding her own you know, flavor, you know, and that he would love to work with her again. And Literally, he said right in front of her that he just doesn't, he, no way, he just doesn't want to work with her again. And he said, and, and, and yeah, he said, let me just roll the clip. See her against a room full of professional, qualified dancers, and then I would know. Yeah. Because the reality is, like, even if she was the best dancer on the planet, with an ego and an attitude like that, no one wants to work with her. Yeah, that's right. He said that, like, she was so bossy and kind of rude, basically, that no one would ever want to work with her. And um, that, that must suck. Like, yeah. Right, so I just found out that her sister is literally like her twin. I mean, they look the exact same. Well, not really, but they look very similar. And she wants to become basically like a social media like influencer. Uh, very similar to her s older sibling. But um, I'm literally so tired of her that I think we'll have to cover that in another video. But um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, I put a lot of time into this and I think it was funny and me and my sister had a fun time recording it. And uh, I'm gonna be just like her. I'm gonna be a social media ah, ah, star. End it. No, but seriously guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I put a lot of time into it and hopefully I'll put a lot of time into the editing of this. And. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a uh, 100 subs, and I have something planned for my 100 sub video. So keep um, keep checking my channel, and I, I love it. It'd be great. Um, I'm on 69 subs at the moment of recording this, which I think is hilarious. Um, yeah, did you know that? 69 subs. 69, 69, 69. Let's hope I just don't go to jail too. Okay, wow. it's been just taller, and I'll see you in the next video.